Hello everyone, my name is Patty Horton. I'm a medium and a healer, and I would like to welcome you to my spiritual spotlight. In today's spiritual spotlight, I would like to speak with you about manifestation and how God plus the universe equals personal power and creative carte blanche for the soul. You see, I'm going to share with you the simple path to realizing your hopes, your dreams, and your desires so that they become a very tangible part of your walking life. Now let's begin with this. Where the mind goes, the energy flows. Say that with me one more time. Where the mind goes, the energy flows. I want you to stick that in your back pocket and save it for later, as it will make sense along the way. Now in order to get somewhere, we have to have a destination. So we have to understand where it is exactly that we want to go. If we need to go to another state, we get out the roadmap, we look at it, we mark our route out, and we drive our car to get there. We get in our vehicle, we go to the gas station, we fuel it up, we're off and running, and we take our time and we get to our destination. That's the exact way it works when you want to manifest something. You see, the mind becomes the roadmap. The mind becomes the destination as you see clearly within your mind's eye what it is you wish to manifest here in the physical world. Now, how do we get to the destination? Well, we need to have a vehicle, right? So the vehicle is the heart. Our heart is what propels us and pushes us forward in all things in life. It sends us forward to experience new love. It sends us forward to experience a new job. It propels us forward in so many ways in life as it is our vehicle that drives us. It is the actual organ within our body that gives us life. So it makes sense that the heart is the vehicle, right? So in order to get the vehicle to drive to the destination, we need some fuel. So where does the fuel come from? The fuel comes from our emotions. And what we feel, we then realize as we pump it into the vehicle to reach that destination. You see, you must see it clearly, feel it clearly, and know that all things are possible. You must understand that when something is manifested, you must ask for it, you must believe in it, you must release it so that you can receive it. As we bring the body, the mind, and the spirit in perfect harmony. You see, if you're seeing where you want to go and you're in your car and you're ready to drive there, but you're really not feeling it. You're going to slow yourself down from realizing that which you hope to manifest because your fuel, your emotions are not in complete harmony with the vehicle and the destination. It truly is that simple. See, there's a simple path to everything in this life. Everything is delivered to you in the easiest and most simplest way. Yet, living in the physical world, we allow the thinking mind to distract us and take us down the road with all the detours. So I want you to remember, when you can see it, you must align the vehicle with the destination so it can be realized. Yet, you must bring your emotions or your feel, fuel into complete harmony with the vehicle and the destination in order to manifest those things that you wish to experience here in the physical world. See, for me, when I want something, I say, hey God, this is what I want, this is how I want it, and this is when I want it done. And I say, thank you, God, and I let it go. And sometimes within a matter of hours, my phone will ring, Within a matter of days, that which I focused on will begin to materialize itself. Yet, if I'm not in complete harmony with what it is that I'm wanting to achieve in that exact moment, it'll take me a little bit longer to get there, as I have complicated and put myself down the road with all the detours and the potholes. So I hope that this has helped you today, as you remember where the mind goes, the energy flows, as you bring into harmony and alignment the body, mind, and the spirit so that all things can be realized and become a tangible part of your walking life. Have a great day, everybody, and enjoy the journey.